Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. We're going to discuss body language today. Body language, one of the oldest and most natural forms of human communication, expresses our sensations and emotions through gestures, posture, voice tone, and even the way we walk. Having a pleasing body language can boost your self-confidence and make you more appealing. So in this video, we'll go over several suggestions and techniques for improving your body language. Before moving any further, like, comment, and subscribe to the channel Mindset Madness, and don't forget to click the post notification bell icon to get all our related updates. So let's move straight to the video. Well, what do you guys really understand by the word body language? We all have heard this term numerous times in our life, but never ponder over it. Why science lays huge emphasis on it, and how can we enhance our confidence by improving our body language? Well, to get answers of all these questions, make sure to watch the video to the end. So, what is body language? Body language communicates our emotional responses through hand movements, body position, manner of speech, and even the way we walk. It is one of the earliest and most organic forms of communication between humans. Nonverbal communication can detect emotions such as fear, distrust, anger, boredom, and a variety of others. So, understanding its significance and acting with caution when it comes to behaving is critical for the development and maintenance of good relationships particularly within companies, where every action counts. Body language is a skill in its own right. This is a skill that must be honed. It's an artistic skill, a talent that enhances one's personal attractiveness, an ability capable of holding someone's attention and has huge potential. Why is body language useful or important? According to studies, body language is crucial. Your body language has the power to influence your mental state. When you're under pressure, but your body language is in a commanding position, your mind believes you're in command. Congratulations if you are nervous while speaking, but your hand gestures and eye contact are positive. No one will be able to tell the difference. If you go into an interview with a cheerful attitude, you'll almost certainly pass with flying colors. Let me explain to you with a quick example. Wouldn't it be great if you could have the power to interpret what the other person is thinking or feeling just by merely looking at him? It would be great, as it would definitely help you shape your next move accordingly. Sounds impossible? Well, it isn't, as body language is that magic wand that can enlighten you with its power. The power that comes with nonverbal communication is extreme and unlimited, making it possible for you to interpret what the person next to you feels just by looking at him. According to science, your body language communicates 65% of what you say. Understanding visual communication through body language will equip you with the knowledge that what isn't said is just as important as what is said. It will also provide you the freedom to work out and figure out how your visual communication is perceived. All of this is a huge plus. You'll be prepared to adjust and strengthen your communication with the outside world. The body language is a vast domain but basically comprises on four major factors which are number one, posture. One of the most significant aspects of body language is posture. With a decent posture, you may convey a lot more security and receptivity to your interlocutor. It contains or reflects some of the most commonly used markers, such as a crossing of arms or legs indicating a protective posture, one that lacks receptivity or shoulders that are contracted, indicating insecurity and easily noticed by others. Other examples include leaning back, for example, is already a sign of evaluating the other's speech. The inclination to the person who is speaking that aims to show interest in the subject. Furthermore, sitting awkwardly demonstrates a lack of regard for the other's authority, and continually running your hand through your hair communicates uneasiness and desires. Number 2. Looks The second most important factor is looks when we talk about body language. The glance can convey a lot of information. The importance of the eyes and how they move may reveal a lot about a person. Rubbing one's eyes is a symptom of boredom and mistrust. Continued visual contact communicates confidence and security. Avoiding eye contact communicates deception and lies, and looking around a lot communicates anxiety and disinterest in the issue. The eyes are one of the smallest components of the body, but they contain a wealth of information that may be gleaned from body language and put to good use. Number 3. Voice Being the third most important factor, voice has its own value. The voice may reveal a lot about a person's personality, so it's also something that should be worked on. Smiling, adding smiles and gentle tones of speech makes the conversation less heavy, making it a beneficial resource when solving difficulties or eliminating resistance to what is said, in addition to calming those who hear and even the one who speaks. 
Anxious persons have a rapid speech rate. Maintaining a more calm and consistent rhythm while emphasizing the major points of your speech is preferable. This makes your speech more persuasive and well-received. The deep voice tone conveys authority, stability, and constancy. Take a few deep breaths before beginning to talk in order to establish that tone of voice. This helps to relax the throat and prevents a strained speech tone. The smallest nuances of our conversation reveal our body language. Many blunders are unconscious and natural as a result of their frequent repetition, necessitating a process of learning and training to break old habits and introduce new nonverbal communication techniques. So, we should never be completely dependent upon body language. Number 4. Walk The way people walk can define and express as a huge deal of information without even talking. It helps the person have a rough idea about what kind of person he or she is and then deal with them accordingly. It can be that either the person is a fast walker or a slow walker, if he or she takes big steps or small steps while talking. All of it defines a person's personality and subconscious mind, and knowing someone's behavior can help you have better communication. These were the four major factors of body language, but researchers prove that studies show that body language can lead to multiple benefits that help you shape your personality and fight for the greater good. We provide you with a list of 8 tips and tricks about body language that can help you shape your personality twice to what it is now. Number 1. Presume a powerful pose to enhance your self-assurance Simply holding your body in an expansive position, such as leaning back with your hands behind your head and feet up on a desk, or standing with legs and arms stretched wide open for 2 minutes, stimulates higher levels of testosterone, the hormone linked to power and dominance, and lower levels of cortisol a stress hormone according to Harvard and Columbia Business School research. When you're nervous, yet want to appear confident, try this. These poses cause hormonal alterations in both males and females, as well as greater sensations of strength and higher risk tolerance. People are more influenced by how they feel about you than by what you say, according to the study. Number two, make it appear as if you're listening to encourage turnout. If you want someone to speak up, don't allow yourself to multitask. Avoid checking your text messages, checking your watch, or watching how the other participants are reacting. Instead, make eye contact with people who are speaking by shifting your head and torso to face them immediately. Other nonverbal methods to demonstrate you're engaged and paying attention include leaning forward, nodding, and tilting your head. It is critical to listen to others. It's just as vital to let them know you're paying attention. Number 3. Overcome bottlenecks or hurdles to boost collaboration. Physical impediments are particularly harmful to joint endeavors. Remove anything that is in the way of your vision or creates a barrier between you and the rest of the team. Even during a coffee break, be conscious that holding your cup and saucer in a way that appears to purposely block your body or remove you from others may create a barrier. A top CEO once told that he could tell how comfortable his employees were by how high they held their coffee cups. His observation was that the more uncomfortable people felt, the higher their coffee was held. People who held their hands at waist level were more relaxed than those who raised their hands high in the chest. Number 4. Hands with someone to make an instant connection The most primal and strong nonverbal indication is touch. A human relationship can be formed by touching somebody on the arms, palm, or shoulder for under 1 40th of a second. The handshaking tradition in the workplace establishes physical connection and warmth, and this tactile contact leaves a lasting and favorable impression. Individuals are two times more likely to recognize you if you shake hands with them, according to a study from the Income Center for Trade Shows. People react to individuals with whom they shake hands by being more open and cordial, according to the trade fair researchers. Number 5. Smiling can help you feel better A genuine grin not only boosts your own happiness, but also communicates to others that you are accessible, helpful, and dependable. A genuine smile appears gradually, crinkles the eyes, brightens the face and then fades away. Most importantly, smiling has a direct impact on how others react to you. When you smile at someone, virtually invariably they grin back. And because facial gestures elicit comparable feelings, the smile you receive has a favorable impact on that person's emotional condition. Number 6. Mirror each other's expressions and postures to demonstrate agreement. When clients or coworkers unintentionally emulate your body language, it's a nonverbal way of expressing their liking or agreement with you. When you mimic other individuals with purpose, it can help you establish a connection and foster feelings of mutuality. 
Mirroring begins with observing a person's facial and body signals and then subtly imitating those expressions and postures with your own body. As a result, the other person will feel understood and accepted. Number 7. Keep an eye on people's feet to discover the truth. People concentrate on facial expressions, body postures, and hand-arm movements when attempting to control their body language. Because the legs and feet are left unscripted, they are also the most likely places to find the truth. Increased foot motions are a common way for people to show nervousness and anxiety when they are stressed. Fidgety feet will shuffle, wind, and fidget around each other and the furniture. To release tension, feet will stretch and curl, or even kick out in a miniature attempt to flee. Studies suggest that when spectators can see the complete body, they have a better chance of judging a person's true emotional state. You may not realize it, but you've been reacting to foot motions unconsciously throughout your life. Number 8. Uncross your arms and legs to increase your memory. Alan and Barbara Pease, body language researchers, present an intriguing conclusion from one of their studies. When a group of volunteers sat with their arms and legs unfurled during a lecture, they remembered 38% more than when they sat with their arms and legs folded. Uncross your arms and legs to boost your retention. If your audience is displaying protective body language, switch methods, take a pause or get them to move, and don't try to convince them until their bodies have opened up. It's now time for me to end up my video. Please like, comment, and subscribe to the channel Mindset Madness, and don't forget to click the notification bell icon to receive fast notifications of all my new uploads. We will meet again in the next video. Till then, stay safe and thanks for watching.